Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Be Creative. Today I'm gonna give this tiny Dollar Tree chest a massive makeover. I found this one at, as I said, the Dollar Tree for 125, and I was like, oh, I could do something cool with this. This is gonna be a calm, chill craft that I decided would be fun. But we did have to give it a little touch up, so I unscrewed the clasp because it was way to the right and it was very obvious as you can see <laughs> and I also tightened the other screws in the back because they were all over the place I just stuck some paper and some puff bit into the holes and just re-screwed it back in uh, I actually sanded the whole thing because you know Dollar Tree quality all that wood here you know getting that clasp back in this time a little bit more straight but let's actually now start with the actual craft. So I wanted to put this big diamond in, uh, you know, as the main point. So I'm, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to make it like ingrained into the chest. And I'm going to do this by, as you can see, I glue yarn to it. I painted the inside or the, 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 the side of the diamond that I'm going to stick onto the wood gold. And now I'm just going to give the whole thing a, you know, a solid color. I also am going to add some, this is just normal sewing thread that I'm going to glue towards it just to make it more, give it a sort of a gradient, I guess. Also just add some more gold just in case the gold on the diamond itself wasn't enough. So once that is dry, you can go ahead and add some acrylic paint to the yarn itself. Uh, by doing this, once the yarn is dry, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know that for sure. All right, now it's time to, uh, this is some extra, the beginning of the detailing area. I'm just gonna color these pieces of yarn to just make it look more like actual rope. Uh, you'll see in a bit why. So here I've already stuck on the diamond and I'm just gonna add more yarn because else it looks a little bit weird. This is the big cycle of gluing yarn on the chest and then you know, letting it dry, adding more yarn, letting that dry. You can't do it only once or the yarn will get stuck to each other and it will just mess it up entirely. And then last but not least, some sewing thread. And then just, once again, paint everything. As you can see, I removed the tape from the diamond and it actually looks gold. Uh, so that worked out pretty well, I would say. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same technique on three edges of the chest itself. I'm gonna do four little diamonds in the corner, but I wanted the middle edge, the front edge. I don't know, what is that edge called? I don't know. That one edge to be um, open because I wanted to add some other details in there. I had some ideas going around, you know. So yarn is there, double thread of sewing thread, double thread. I don't even know how I'm gonna call this technique. I don't know even what the word is. Yarning? I don't know. So the little diamonds that I used have uh, got the exact same treatment as the big yellow in the middle. Just coloring it with gold on the side I'm gonna stick it on and adding some gold into the corners. Originally they were green and now they just look gold. On the other side of the diamonds that is open, I'm gonna do the same technique as I did with the yarn. Yarn, sewing thread and paint it once it's all dry. Obviously cut it off too, cut the, the areas off. But either way, it already looks pretty good. You know, it, you can't tell once it was not stuck to it. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna paint the yarn, but I just gotta wait till the very last step to do that. So now that that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and use several brushes just to give the whole chest a little bit more detail and make it look a lot more worn. Just one solid color is not going to give you that effect. So I would recommend just messing around with darker, lighter colors. Um, Use lighter colors on areas that would would be you would be able to touch, which is a little hard to see right now because there's nothing on it yet. I don't even know how to explain it, but this is just going to be a base layer for now, just to you know give it a little bit more of a feel, and just so I can now use this for um, later if edges are hard to reach. This is just going to help it a little bit.
Right, so now it is the most fun time of them all, which is detailing. I love details, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. I love adding details, and then I love adding details to details, as you can see right here. Um, and honestly, most of this is just jewelry, um, or, or basically stuff for jewelry making. Um, or, I mean, I'm even hammering, dude. I'm going really into those details. This is what the rope was for. Uh, once again, also jewelry, <laughs> just some hangers. I don't exactly know what the function of this was supposed to be. This thread contraption, I just, I thought it would look kind of cool. Here we have, which I think are called spacers, but I'm just going to use it to add just a little bit of a, um, a metal rope in there, I guess. I don't know. I like these things because you can kind of go crazy and no matter what you do, as long as it looks symmetrical, it looks like it fits. In the end, I feel like everything really fits in there, you know. I got a lot of these things just into a big uh, secondhand use pack of jewelry. For example, these little things are jump rings, uh, but they're square and gold, so they fit in well. And if you glue them in, they just look like some decoration on the chest. Same here, just parts of jewelry making. Here's just an example of the small little details you can use, which by the way, takes way too long. I even added, found this little key hanger, which I thought was perfect for this because it is a chest after all. There's some E6000 and it glues on and stays on as it should. So now it's time for more coloring. Again, um, what I'm using here is this black, uh, watered down acrylic paint, and I'm just using that around all the edges of every single little object. Um, everything that is in between those objects, in between the black, I'm gonna make a lighter brown. I guess that's the best way I explain how I do this type of stuff and make it look worn. This is just my personal technique and it usually works very well. Um And I'm just gonna add, as I said, last but not least, some wider paint to the yarn just to make it stand out a little bit. And let that all dry and then you're kind of done. This only took like three days. It was really fun. It was this mind-numbing easy and I love doing it. It was just a, a relaxed crap. I think in the end it looks like everything belongs there. There's not too many details. I mean, there's a lot of details, obviously. A lot of extra unnecessary items, but I think it looks good. It's just an old-fashioned chest that was one use to hide some... treasure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And you should subscribe as well, because I do make more videos sometimes. I hope to see you next time and have a good day. Bye-bye.